Hello everybody, it's Kim. I'm going to apologize up front for the lighting in here. It's pretty bad. Um, but I'm going to make this. This is the last ornament that I need to make for one of my grandkids. And um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. We're just going to work on it together. I, I started to do it. And first of all, I'm, I'm not happy with the underneath color because she likes pink and black. And I had some blue on here. Just as an accent color, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the blue or if I'm going to go to something else. But um, it was crooked, and, and I don't mean to be, but I'm really picky. So you could see that from here down, that dot was way off. And I tried to do something here, and it was it was so far off I couldn't stand it. I tried to cover it up, and I didn't do well. So that's the advantage to getting these little dollar store hearts that I got. They're only 25 cents a piece. I don't feel so bad that that was a practice piece. I started by kind of um, getting an idea what I wanted to do. I'm not the kind that can kind of just think of it as I go. I learned that. And even here you can see I'm not really sure once I get past this what I'm going to do. But I just thought I'd you know, kind of get an idea and see how it goes from there. So I'm going to start with uh, I will be doing some top dots, so I'm going to start with my black in this section right here. And I learned on the other one that it's going to go through, so I'm going to put a paper towel down because I made a huge mess last time I attempted this. I'm going to use my largest dotting tool, and I'm going to put a nice, large, hopefully, dot up here in the center as best as I can get it. I'm really bad about these large dots are tough for me. So I'm going to hope that one looks a little better. Now the first time I did not put any lines on it, and I think that's what my mistake was. So you know what, it's definitely worth getting a little um, stencil. See that's still way off. I'm going to try something here. don't know if it's going to work, but just going to try to come over this way just a tiny bit. I don't care if it's slightly oval. I'll try to make it look roundish. And see if I can't get that to fill in. Maybe I just needed to use a smaller tool and kind of draw it on. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm not really good. The little ones I can get pretty precise with. These big ones are tough. So I'm just going to see if I can... Bring it out a little bit where I kind of want it to be. I watched a video by uh, Miranda, I am hope I'm saying her name right, Patrone, where she bent her tools. And especially at night when I'm working, because of my lighting situation here, I can't see really well. So I went ahead and bent some of my smaller tools here to see if that helps me be able to do some of this a little bit better so anyway that's my first one and then I want to make this I can bring this out a little bit with my dots so I think I'm just going to do some general dotting use my tool here that I bent and see how that works in this lighting it really although I'm still off farther than I want to be it really helps in this lighting to be able to get it a little bit more accurate. I, think. I don't know how she picks up so much paint on her tools, man, because I can't get the amount of paint that I'd like to have on them. I'm sure it all comes with experience, so... That's okay. We'll make it work. I'm going to put another, I think, I hope, put a, one of the pinks. Um, her favorite colors are pink and black. So I'm going to try to do this in the pinks and the blacks. I think I'm going to put one more dot. I wasn't planning on it, but I'm going to put one more dot in between. Just to bulk it out a little bit. I want these dots a little bit larger on this side just to kind of balance 
the issue I was having. Seems like there should be one in between there, I believe, yeah. I think I missed that one. Looked off. So, you know, as with most art, the hardest part is just learning the tools, the techniques, and such. So, you know, practice, have fun with it. If you don't like it, redo it. It's no big deal, you know. Don't spend a ton of money on stuff until you kind of get an idea, get the hang of it. Because, you know, you look back on some of these videos I watch, and from where they started to where they're at now, it's amazing some of the some of these artists that do these mandalas and the dot painting and there's other things called zentangle painting and it, it, the list just goes on and on and on and on so all right so there is my first set of dots and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go light yeah I think I'm going to do my light color next because again, I'm probably going to top dot. I have three colors of pink here. Then I have some gray. I mean, some silver I thought would look good with this. Now I don't know if I should go between them. No, that one's centered. I'm going to go on that. And I'm going to use my small, one of my smaller rods. Because I can always come back and add something larger over top if I don't think it's enough. The one thing that I had to learn is that you can't put it exactly where you want it. Because with the paint, it kind of, it's a little larger than your tool itself. So keep that in mind when you're dotting. Like if I went right up against that black, I would have spread over it with my tool. you got to allow for that little bit of... Um, Especially on these bigger ones. The small ones, maybe not so much, but. And these ones that get a little bit, as they get larger, they spread more. I wish that had been centered a little better, but I'm not going to worry about it. When I top dot, I can make it look like it's filled in or something. All right, so that's my first color. Now, I think I don't want to go with the black again. And I want to do some dots around it. So I think I'm going to try to silver. The one thing I noticed with these um, metallic colors is they, they, I don't know what to call it, they're kind of sticky. They'll make a string that comes up, and you have to be careful that if you pull it too fast, it's going to break off and flop over on the rest of your paint. So you need to be careful with that, just kind of a warning for everybody. And you'll see it here as I probably will do like that a couple of times, but... I can always come back and paint over the smear if I have to with the green. Or you just learn to kind of accept your mistakes, which I'm not quite there yet completely. Some mistakes I can handle. Most I can't. But I am kind of a perfectionist, and I know I don't need to be, but... I try to do the best I can in everything that I do. Whoops, I dropped my tool over here. I'm going to have paint all over my arm. You can see I have to really take my time pulling this silver up. Because it has that, I don't know what you call it, I call it a string. Perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, but I do think I like these tools bent. I really did make a difference on how I see. So, let's see. I'm going to show you how I did it, because I'm going to go ahead and bend this one here. <laughs> You're supposed to use pliers. I couldn't find any, so I found this hammer here. It's got this little opening. You just put it in there so it catches, and very gently bend it to an angle that you think is going to work. It's not really difficult. I'm assuming, oh, if you do it too hard, like that, I didn't break it. I'm surprised. It felt like it broke, but it bent pretty 
That's a, that's a really big angle. I don't know if you can see. It, it'll work, but the gentle angles would probably be better. Anyway, I didn't break it, so let's see how this one's going to work now. Still have to watch those strings really careful with this stuff, even when it gets smaller like that. When you see me go off to the side, I'm picking up more paint. And then as you walk it this way, the dots get a little smaller. I wanted to kind of um, kind of two dots up bigger, I guess, if you want to call it that. I want it's going to be big. I got a lot of paint on that one. Yeah, I really kind of like. I'm glad I saw that video showing how to bend these tools that really makes it nice when in this kind of weird light I have because you could I don't know if you could see the terrible shadows I get at night when I try to do this I get a chance to do this during the day it's not so bad but I have very very bad lighting in my house oh and now my bunny's going to act up so you'll hear her making noises here on the side And in a minute, I'll stop talking so I can speed this up. I'm sure it probably gets pretty boring. But I just kind of want you to see, this is kind of the speed. You know, everybody speeds up their videos and nobody gets to see the actual speed when you're first new. When you do these dottings here. That you have to take your time. And go to work. All right, I'm going to start my next row. I want my plan is to have two rows around it. So I got that. Now I'm going to start my next row of large dots. They're going to go in between here on the line the best I can, kind of centered. Said so this is all 
new to me, so if I make mistakes, I make mistakes. But I am happy that I did the stencil. At least I feel I have I, those guidelines. I, I'm not good at free flowing them there. Now this paint I pick up at Walmart. I wish I had some of the other ones I see. They have there's a little more body to them. These kind of flatten out a lot, but they they do okay. So for fifty cents a bottle, I'm not going to complain. Okay, I've got my next row of dots. And I think I'm going to draw some of that black in here again. I really like to try to do some swooshes, but I think it's still too soon. I think I'm going to do two rows like I had it, and then I'll do some swooshes down here. Or should I keep it the same and do the silver? Yeah, I'm going to do the black. I don't know. She likes the black. So I'll do the black. I'm trying to figure out what size I'm using. So that one's really pretty big. I'll go with this way. This tends to be my favorite one, only maybe because I had it first and I used it first. I got it at the Dollar Tree. You can get a lot of your supplies at the Dollar Tree. Not very happy with how far that is, but that's okay. I'll make it work. I'm going to need a smaller one to go down more. I would love to have one of those little mini turntables. It's on my wish list, I think. I'm going to pick one up one of these days. It would make it a lot easier to do this. I'm trying to think of the direction my rays should be going as I'm coming off of this. You know, it would be coming out this direction. This one would be coming out this direction. Oh, I could do a cool swirl. Hmm. I could do that. I could add color. I could do a swirl that starts out that way. Gets bigger and bigger as I go. Well, I don't know. I'll just stick with what I'm doing. For right now, maybe I can swirl it after.
not really happy with that one, so I'm using the opposite end. Making this one longer, so I need a bigger dot. It's just, I'm not good at these yet, so I use the opposite end. I can draw it exactly, let me draw it out better and make it look like I want it to look. And I can come back and add extra paint if I need to to fill in it. Now I kind of can fill it in. Oop, that got a little fat again. Oh well, it'll be okay. That's where these lines come in really nice. I can really kind of keep it. I think this one's out a little bit more over here. I wish I could pick up some of that paint off of there. It just looks a little heavy. All right, now I think I want to do a side swoop coming in. I'm going to use the other end maybe here. I should have practiced my swoops on a piece of paper or something first. Probably would have been, once you get them going, it's not so bad. So those first couple that tend to get me. I want this to be, I'm going to do that one last. I want that one to be kind of a larger swoop. has a lot more space to fill up. Remember, I can top dot on top of these, or go swoop on top, which is probably what I'm going to do to add a different layer of color. So we don't have to look so thick, because when you add it on top, it looks like it's a little more delicate. Okay, now... Now for the big guy. We'll come here. Get a good amount. All right, now I'm starting to get the color on there. Okay, now I gotta think about what I wanna do in, in between here. I think I'll do another, I got room for a good size circle there. I think I can get it to the edge there. Let's see, so I have to figure out what size I can use if I do. That one, it's going to go all the way to the edge. That one's going to be, oh, that's in between. Going in between, right? Yes. So go there. Got plenty of room for that one. Okay, I think I'm good with that. So, what color dots do I want to do? I've used all my colors now. So, if I want a top dot on those, I can go with the light one again and add the, add it on top. Or, you know what, I haven't done this silver. Hmm, 
I don't hope that doesn't ruin the look. I'm kind of afraid of the silver. It does really spread quite a lot once it comes down. Now, I'm going to get a smaller tool out here because I'd rather it be too small and I can go over it. In between over that one. Now, if you think about it, I should have another one up here. Because there would be something up here, right? No, it would have been over there. Okay. I'm going to get a smaller one. I at least have one there. I mean, technically, it would be over the edge, but yeah, right there. I just want it to look rounded better. This is going to be off because my point went kind of the wrong direction, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to stop here because I want to let it dry before I get my hands in it because I do that a lot. All right, well, I'm waiting for these to finish drying. I did a couple top dots, the dark on the light, the light on the dark, but these are definitely too wet. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next because I'm getting just out of ideas. But I think to help fill in... I hope I think that's gonna to be too big. I'm gonna start with a smaller one again. I can always get a bigger one. It's too small, that's too big. Uh, here, this blue one. I think I just want to add in a little bit of silver here. It's a problem when, you know, you guys who are new, we don't always have kind of nowhere to go with it, and that's okay. That's part of practice. So don't be too hard on yourself. You know, I mean, some people have lots of art behind them and things like that, and they could see things a little Kind of like playing chess. You can see it in your mind. I don't have that ability. So sometimes you have to walk away from it, come back later, and hope something comes to you. If it doesn't, well, just go for it. It's only paint and a little plaque of wood. Heck, you don't even have to use wood. If you don't have any wood cutouts, you can glue two cereal boxes together cover them in paint. Yeah, see that's pretty far away over there, but it's going to be where it is because it's too hard to wipe it off. I just wanted to bring in another, I don't know, dot of color, fill in some space. So, okay. See, with these, you have the issue where you, don't, you can't go around all the way on these right here. 
this, the, these two are the only ones I can do something out here. So I'm thinking if I wanted to, I could put a couple of dots out here just to add something, but thinking to do something here and bring it towards, ooh, that might look cool. Thinking I wanted to do, I did something right there. I could. Dot, dot towards that. Yeah, that would look silly. Because that, that one I could go, I could still dot something above these. Most of the, yeah, all of those have a little space. I'm lost. See, that's why I'm lost. I'd rather not overdo it. I'm just going to do a little something down here. I had that in my plan anyway. See, I had sort of these swoops in this plan, and I had... I had a crown up here, but I can only do it on two of these. So I don't think I'm going to add that crown. The only other thing I could do, come back later and add some dots. I could make them going smaller this way, but that's a little far away there. If I do that, I'm going to do it in a different color. Maybe I'll do it in that light pink. It doesn't show a whole lot, and it would add something there without adding too much color. So, time to put it away and think about what I'm going to do here. I could do a... Oh, I'm going to do it with my light color because I can always come back over it. I'm going to do a swoop. That looks like a heart. Why not? Right? I come this way, make my circle here, and bring it in. I think I can make it look like a heart. Try to pick up a bit of paint here. I want it to be from here. fill it in. It's going to be a heart. Make it more heart shape than soup shape. If I was good with the brush, I would brush it on, but I'm not. I don't even have proper brushes, so... I'm happy enough with that, but I can do some my dots running away from my heart. Just because I don't know. It's silly. Oh, it's gonna I'm gonna run a battery soon here, so I'm just gonna add a couple of dots just because. And then I'm gonna have to go turn off my camera. Just wanted to fill in a little bit more space next to these, so get some random pink dots in here. Mandalas are usually really pretty like covered, and I haven't quite got to that point yet, so just going to add some dots around. I may come back later and do something around them, but I doubt it.
All right, before my phone goes completely dead, I'm going to go for now. I'm going to let this dry completely. If I come back, I'm going to do, I'm going to add some, I'm going to do some of this light colored striping on here just to kind of bring in a little, I might even just do it in the middle. And then I'm going to go over this with the darker pink and erase all my lines and we'll see how it looks. All right, everybody, here's my finished ornament. I thought I was recording some more of the top dots and such, but I realized my phone had gone dead. So anyway, all I did was just kind of play around with it. I put some extra top dots on it and a couple swishes, swoops, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, not too bad, not exactly what I was thinking, but I'm okay with it. And I think my granddaughter will love it regardless. And I put a couple of coats of a top coating on it. I don't know how well you could see that, but it's got a a nice coating on it to keep it, you know, I can rub it and do whatever I wanted and it's not going to hurt it. So anyway, there you go. The last of the four ornaments for my grandkids. And I hope you have a wonderful day.